Hi, this is Tim from Sound Effects in Ormskirk. Um, I'd like to talk you through uh, a few guitars this morning um, and a little bit of a backstory on a, on a couple of guitars by a brand called Faino. Um, not massively known in the UK, um, but for those who do know them, they're certainly very well thought of. Uh, Dennis Faino started his career in the sort of late 80s, early 90s, repairing guitars in New York and custom building guitars for people like Andy Partridge um, of XTC. In 2000 he decided that he would set up his own workshop and he had this kind of alternate vision whereby all the great luthiers um, from the 50s and 60s were put in a hothouse, so from Gibson and Fender, but they were given access to some of modern day materials. So what he came up with is with his alt de facto line. So it's an alternative, um, but it's de facto, whether Gibson or, uh, or Fender like it or not, they do exist. Um, so you can clearly see the inspiration that you've got some retro looks, but he's got things like Tone Pro bridges, some tone style of controls, and then hand-wound Lindy Freyden pickups, which means for some a great range of guitars, and as I say, they're extremely well thought of. So this one here we have is their G uh, GF6 model, so a bolt-on neck, hollow body, um, with a kind of offset to it, quite Jaguar-esque, but also a little bit of 335 thrown in there with some lovely Freyden P90 pickups. Um, they do them in either unrelict, so uh, kind of clean, but um, their styling lends itself really well to this relic, and they do a really good job of it. It doesn't look like somebody's taken a bicycle chain to it. It looks like it's naturally been through the mill and through a few clubs, etc., um, and, and got some natural wearing. On the back of the neck, you'll see this, um, there's the original finish, and then quite nicely worn away. So you get a lovely, lovely feel to the necks, and their compound radius necks, they feel very, very, very nice indeed to play. Um, so that one there, as I say, is a, uh, a GF6 in candy apple red. We then have um, the JM6, which you can clearly see where this one gets its inspiration from. Um, a very Jaguar-esque, again, frailing pickups on it. Uh, nice swamp ash body, really nice light guitar and extremely resonant. It just absolutely sings all day, does that guitar. Um, so very, very nice guitar indeed. See that one? And then finally, um, we have this little baby blue fell at the front. I'll tell you a little bit of a story about this one. Uh, with Faino guitars, what you essentially do is you spec everyone individually. So here at Sound Effects, what we do is we, we come up with the specs of exactly what we want, the colors, um, uh, the, you know, the pickup configurations, uh, everything we want uh, exactly and whether we want it relic or not. And you order them individually. So there's about a three or four month lead time to them. Uh, we got our first bunch of guitars in and they just went like that, we sold them immediately. Um, so I phoned up the guys at Premier Builders Guild, is, which is who uh, Faino worked through to sell their guitars, uh, and said, A, could we order some more, which they said was fine, naturally, but also did they have any around that we could maybe buy that were already built? And they said that was pretty unusual. Um, however, they had got some because they built them for the NAM show, which is in California, the big trade show for guitars. And they built them a little bit early, so they had about a dozen guitars around, um, and that we could buy some of them if they wanted to. So we said, great, they sent me some pictures over. Um, uh, these three were all on it. Um, and when I asked them to be shipped, they, they said, well, we'll ship these two immediately, but this one uh, is out with an artist actually recording an album. They've made a little bit of a mistake, but it was on its way back, so we could have it when they finished with it. And it was only around about a week or so, because it was literally on the way back. So we got the guitar in, and I phoned Premier's Builder Guild just as a little bit of an aside to say, uh, you know, actually, who was the artist and, um, you know, what album it had been on. And it was the Kings of Leon. So that guitar features on the Kings of Leon album. Uh, lovely little guitar. Again, you can see the inspiration from that. There's a bit of Gibson thrown in there. There's a Fender Telecaster Star Bridge, and you've got a P90 at the neck, so quite sort of Gibson-esque again. Uh, lovely little sort of baby blue. I'm not sure what colour they call it, but it's a little baby blue in my eyes. Um, strong straight through, so, so again, enormous resonance on the guitar. Um, lovely little guitar, dead cute, and with the Kings of Leon connection, quite a nice heritage. So those are Faino guitars for you. Thank you very much. We can get them all at SoundEffects, um, www.soundeffectspremier.com. Thanks very much. See you again.